Here's these same 45 watt Harbor Freight panels and I have this um, Tesla Solar Tracker 5 S3A12, the 3 amp 12 volt version from teslachargers.com and this is a uh, 850 coal cranking amp die hard battery. This is pretty big. Uh, ballpark that would be about 85 amp hours or so. About one tenth of the coal cranking amp. And so um, this was actually in a Nissan Frontier uh, truck and the dealership said that the battery needed to be changed because um, it just had a really low uh, resting voltage of uh, about 12.1 or so. And so what I've done is um, charged this up uh, with this little 3 amp charger and it's brought it up to 15.21 now I've let it sit for a couple days because we haven't even really had much sun and um, but under complete cloudy skies it can push it to 14 and a half now when I first put it on the voltage went up to about 14 about 14 and a half or so and then after a little bit under full sun when I first had hooked it up while under full sun it went from 14 and a half to about 13 and a half now even though the voltage went down on the battery that's a good sign meaning that the sulfation um, dissolved back into the solution um, into sulfuric acid solution in the water which means it's going to increase the conductivity there, um, thereby de uh, lowering the impedance and when you have uh, when you lower the impedance like that uh, the voltage pressure is going to be lower and so um, what that showed was that it desulfated quite a bit and then it kind of went up and down like that for a little bit and then today finally we had some uh, sun and it's bringing it up to 15.21 so this battery has undergone not just charging but actual rejuvenation like I said under full sun being, going from 14 and a half and dropping to about 13 and a half uh, is a good sign showing that it's desulfating that's why the uh, voltage dropped because the impedance dropped and so um, once it drops like that the voltage climbs back up and uh, you know if it drops again and climbs back up and you can see it's holding at 15.21 um, uh, pretty solid right now that's a good sign that means that the battery is actually charged and uh, rejuvenated and so what I'm going to do um, since I'm not showing the whole charge process what I did with this battery um, is that I'm going to get another car battery put it on here I got another battery sitting in the low 12s and I'm gonna hook it up to this uh, to rejuvenate it as well and that I'll show you the starting voltage and um, uh, show you the progress of that Let's see that battery I guess that's the manufacturer date 1209 December 2009 so it's about five years old um, pretty clean battery, truck, truck was kept in, in good shape, but um, definitely it's easy to rejuvenate this battery. Uh, this battery is probably, I don't know, 80 bucks or so. So, you know, if you use this and uh, with its low retail price, you know, uh, rejuvenating one of just this one battery alone um, almost paid for this whole unit. So, um, Two car batteries, if you rejuvenate two car batteries and bring them back up, uh, re rejuvenate them, you more than paid for uh, this unit right there. And the same applies with the 2A12 and any, any of the other chargers. Um, but uh, there you go, 15.21, a big 850 coal cranking out battery on this little charger with those har uh, Harbor Freight panels, 45 watts worth of panels. I'll show you this real quick. I'm going to show you the... Uh, voltage from the panels going to this uh, while it's in the float mode or you know sitting up at the top um, charged because green lights on uh, if we put that right there 20 let's see better contact there 21.19 volts 21.18 volts Uh, the front side, this is 15.24, the battery is 15.21, uh, so that's just three hundredths um, of a volt that's lost through the uh, resistance of the, the cables themselves. But anyway, just want to show you that. Okay, here's the next battery I'm going to charge. This is an old interstate battery. 
This thing's uh, yeah, it's a little bit dirty, not too bad. I don't know how old it is, but this has been sitting around for uh, uh, years, uh, being unused. But it is uh, actually sitting at 12.18. Okay, so 12.18. What I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to clean all this off because if you have this um, electrolyte mist that kind of got on top of the battery it makes it conductive and that's why the battery will discharge over long term you, you always hear about uh, battery sitting on concrete will get drained well that's a myth it's because there's a conductive layer of electrolyte just right over the surface of the battery and that's shorting it out okay well that's <clears throat> pretty clean still looks dirty but all the residue is mostly wiped off um, so what you do first is take the tracker uh, test solar tracker 5 hook it up to the battery first like this and you can see I'm running out of there's not gonna be much Sun it's good, we're about to get pretty cloudy here in a little bit but anyway um, so that's hooked up to see the red light come on and then uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna connect the, the voltmeter here okay so we're at 12.17 then we connect the uh, solar panel to this See, it's instantly going 12.35. I don't even know what this battery is rated at, but I'll find out. It's probably not too much different than the other one. Probably around 8, 800 cranking, cool cranking amps or so. But anyway, um, I'm just going to let this run. That's going to charge, and uh, we don't really have very much sun. So seeing that it's only sitting right here, it's um, that's a good sign because it's taking the amp hours right now if you see if you see the voltage like jump jump up really high that's an impedance issue from the sulfation we didn't see that which means it's probably not really very sulfated at all it just needs to be charged so um, we'll just let that run and uh, come back and check it later see 12 got the glare there 12.43 right now okay here we are the next day and we just had a little glimpse of uh, Sun and it's actually already pushed it to uh, green. Left this out in the rain. Got a little bit of moisture in there. Messed the label up. But uh, anyway, 1502. We saw that that was um, in the low 12s yesterday. So it's, it has successfully pushed it to the top. It'd probably take it to 15.1 or so. 15.15. Um, if we got enough full direct sun for a while, but um, in any case, with all the cloudy um, sky, uh, it was charging it um, for the rest of yesterday and all all this morning. But this battery is topped up. Pretty good for having pretty much no direct sun. You can see this is the kind of weather we have, but we got a little little break in the clouds there.